Getting set up. Gonna take one second. I'm almost done. We are so close to opening this. Really close. Look how excited Ben is about it. That image cracks me up. I'm not gonna leave it up there forever, but it's just funny. Hey, Sean. Well, I do have two I I have two boxes coming. If you want me to do a personal box for you, I can do it. I'll just order more. I ordered them because I they keep the price keeps going up, so I'm like I I better start stockpiling stuff before the price goes up. So let me know. If we can do personal boxes. I'll I'll find something else to rip as a group thing. Uh, let's see. That's on top of the two boxes that are on the site. I have two more coming. I'm just setting up the random so we don't have to spend time doing it later. Okay. Let's see. Good. Okay. All right. The uh, the first break we're going to do is the mosaic hit draft. I'm just going to wait for a couple minutes for people to get in here. Let me go and share the link so that people know that we're doing it. So it's always a test of my uh, hand-eye coordination and speed when I load up the YouTube video and then remember that I forgot to turn the volume off and then uh, try and hit that on my keyboard to prevent the, the echo. So that's always fun. Hey John, uh, the randomizer only showed up for a second because I was making sure the browser would show up. But it's we're not randomizing yet. We're doing, um, oh, why do I, why, I don't know why I loaded that up. I'll do that in a minute. Anyway, uh, let me share the link so everyone knows we're doing it. Okay. Just retweet Ben's break schedule real quick while I'm in here. Uh, let me send out a tweet to say we're live. Make sure I didn't double tweet that. Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. All right, I think we're about ready here. Hey, Evan. So let me uh, let me post who's in this list or in this break. I don't know why I have the randomizer up that way. Uh, where am I at? Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. 133. Yeah, cool. Alright, let me just fix this. We're going to randomize after, but... I preloaded the randomizer to save time for the next break, and then I realized we need to randomize right after this one for the hit draft. So I'll show it real quick just so that we see you guys can see who's in this break. Actually, I'll just put it over here.
Okay, so that, there we go. Okay, so it's not random yet. This is just the, the list of people in this break. Let me move over and we'll get started. I have nowhere to put stuff now. I have way too many uh, boxes of cards in my office here. Normally, so I got a rolling cart so that I can roll uh, roll my cart over and have something to put all the cards on, put, put boxes on, uh, put stacks on while I'm breaking, if I'm doing more than one break, that kind of thing, but um, the rolling cart, unfortunately, I stacked up three feet of boxes next to my uh, table here where the rolling cart normally goes. So I just don't have room for anything now. Anyway. All right. Who's in? Who's in? How many people are in here right now? Whoops. I don't want to do that. Looks like just a couple of us so far. All right. I mean, it's not as exciting maybe if you uh, if you don't know what card you're gonna get when it's pulled. You have to wait for the the random to happen. Hey, Tim. Okay. Here we go. So this is um, as you can see on the screen. I put in parentheses CW133 and CW134 because I have multiple of both of these boxes. Uh, CW130 whatever, the, the next box of Mosaic, uh, Mosaic Choice, just filled today and that arrives tomorrow. Actually I have to do a mini still, I saved a spot for a mini. So we'll, we'll do a mini, there's one more chance to get in a spot for the next box of this that will break tomorrow when it arrives. Uh, and then I don't know if you can see back here I have two more boxes of 93 upper deck and I actually bought more of it extra of some other stuff I bought extra soccer some hockey um, actually no this hockey's on the site this uh, high tech is on the site right now and I actually bought extra written word too written words on the site also so anyway this is the first box It is terribly light this does not feel like how much it costs um, but hopefully it's full of fire and uh, we do have another box tomorrow so we'll see how it goes I won't make you guys wait anymore this we're we're eight minutes past eight o'clock and I put a schedule up earlier so let's get going uh, hey we'll do the same thing on this only it's every single card uh, because there's only eight cards in here if you guess the player for one of the cards that comes out of here then uh, I've, I'm stockpiling extra packs of stuff and like I said I have I bought extra boxes of things too so I can pull a pack out of something if I need to but uh, or I'll give you a hit to match your PC or something I'll, I'll figure something out so hey Craig so guess the player before I pull it and uh, and I'll give you a hit it can it doesn't have to be it can be any player out of this or any any one of the eight cards as long as you're the first one to guess it. As long as you're the first to guess it. Someone just bought on the site. Aaron, thank you, Aaron. Uh, how did these open? This is my first box. I'm just gonna fumble it around. So really it's a pack. There's one pack in here, I'm not gonna drop it out it's kind of expensive uh, anyway there you go we'll do the random right after all right we have some guesses here all right uh, let's see Zion that's a great guess I'm hoping that you're right I'm hoping you're hundred percent right on that um, Rui Hachimura, Jean Morant, Kobe White, Siku, Luca. All right, cool. So we've got some good guesses. Remind me if I don't catch that you guessed the right person. Maybe we pull a Zion and I get way too excited. I did uh, pull out 
I don't have any brand new ones, uh, but these I think I had started to use for someone or whatever. They they got a couple of scratches, but they're they'll do the job for right now. I have new ones on order, um, but I pulled out a couple of one touches just in case. Just in case we need them, I don't have to go fumbling around. All right, good luck, everyone. Uh, and again, the order on the right is not the card order. It's not who gets what hits. It's uh, just the list of people that are in the break. There's something shiny there. Um, and then we'll, we'll random afterwards, and it's a hit draft, so... You know, the first person gets to... Well, someone got a hit from me. I'll tell you, one of the names up there is in here. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll random afterwards. And this was Discord only, so we'll do the draft for this one in Discord. And uh, uh, and I'm not taking any more guesses after uh, Kali Leonard. Because I've opened the pack and kind of you can see a little bit. But uh, anyway... So the, the name on the top after we random will get the first pick. You know how draft works. So the first one is Terry Rozier. Silver. It's kind of odd. Like my first instinct is to say who this card is going to. Uh, but I don't know yet. And I'll take pictures. I'll take a really good pictures. After. It might have to wait till after the 1993 break. How about Triple J? Uh, I, need, I need to look for numbering on the back, make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm pretty sure I would have caught it, though. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. You can't guess twice. I mean, you could, but I normally would take your last guess, uh, except I said no more guesses after calling Leonard, so I'm going to stick to that. So there's a reactive... Silver Reactive, I guess. Jaron Jackson Jr. I'm really hoping that the uh, the options to choose from are, are just going to be at least a few monsters in here. How about there's uh, Siku. Um, and I don't see any numbering. I don't know what this... I don't know what this... Uh, specific parallel is but it's an autograph it's a very nice autograph parallel Siku Dimboya so that's not bad at all I'll throw that in the uh, top letter or the <laughs> not top letter the um, what are these things called? Words are hard, guys. One touch. Thank you. Yep, you did call it. I do have a penny sleeve in there. Don't worry. Alright, so there's a, a Siku up for grabs. And then... Where are you sticking together? Dario Sarek. It's a red. Is it red or orange? I don't know. It's 33 out of 88 is the numbering on the back. 33 out of, out of 88, Dario Sark. Next is... Another one, same numbering? Yeah, this one's uh, 9 out of 88. I'll turn it over and show you. Carmelo Anthony. It looks red to me. I would call it a red reactive. If I didn't know. And I don't know. Jacob, I'll, I'll send you something. You don't have to be in the break to get something. That's part of the fun of it. It's it's to promote chat uh, and to promote, um, you know, just people joining and watching the video. 
it doesn't uh, it's not really to promote sales so you don't have to buy into any of the breaks to guess 9 out of 88 uh, we didn't draw the draft yet Zach we'll do it right after that's why on the right I don't know if you can see it it says not random yet yeah Jacob uh, reach out to me on Twitter and um, and just remind me Draymond Green this one is I don't know what that is what that's like a peacock reactive I don't know it's got peacock feathers in the back Draymond Green I don't see a Zion yet I don't see any of the other guesses yet actually How about Jarrett Culver? Not numbered. Jarrett Culver. Green reactive. It is Peacock. Okay. I mean, that's my, the only thing I could guess, really. Zach, we'll do the... Uh, we're going to do the random in just a minute after the last card here. And then right after this, we've got 1993 Upper Deck. We're going to try and find another Jer uh, Derek Jeter rookie. I think we've hit two of them in uh, our time travel breaks like that in the past. So, uh, And then the last one is Jordan Poole. So Jordan Poole rookie, green reactive. Not the best. It's not a horrible, horrible box, but it's... Not the best box either. We do have another one tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how that goes. It's The one for tomorrow is full except for a mini that we're going to do in Discord. Okay, so let me recap real quick. I'll just go in reverse because it's easier. Jordan Poole, uh, Green Jared Culver. Well, I guess it's red and green. Yeah, it is a pretty rough box on this one. Uh, Draymond Green Peacock. I don't know if Peacock... Uh, variation is pretty rare. Wish it was a better name. Uh, Carmelo Anthony is is not a horrible name. In red for uh, to eighty eight, and that one was nine out of eighty eight. Number nine out of eighty eight. Uh, Dario Saric, thirty three out of eighty eight. There's uh, Siku. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I'm taking a stab in the dark on that one. I'm trying to take a picture of it. There it goes. And that's not numbered at all. But it's still a decent auto. Uh, and then Jaron Jackson Jr. Not horrible, I guess. And Terry Rozier Silver. Okay, so that's that. We will uh, randomize real quick, and then I'll get pictures up in Discord. There's there's only eight cards if you want to start choosing, but uh, I won't make anyone make their selection before seeing the photos if they don't want to. Um, and actually, I won't even be able to put anything up till I'm done with the break anyway. So here's our list of names. They're in the order that the spots were filled, um, and I they filled so quickly. The last two are the minis. Uh, Tim and Nolan came from minis. So we'll do a random. Let me get over to my browser. Peacock is an SSP? Okay. That is good to know. I'll, I'll have to look that up. That may have to go in a one touch too. Um, okay, so let's do a dice roll. Thanks, John. John always knows. It's always good to have people smarter than me in here. It's very helpful. Okay, here we go. Eight rounds. Good luck, everyone. As I said uh, in Discord, a Zach is guaranteed to be in the top six. Based on the fact that there are three Zachs in here. And in fact, two of them were in the top six. Evan, 
you asked for the top spot and you got the top spot and Johnny B you got second spot uh, followed by Zach G and F and Craig Nolan Tim and in uh, the last spot is Zach W so there's your order let me copy this over the verification code is XXVNXZ. VNX, XXVNXZ. Okay, let me copy this over to the spreadsheet. Man, words are escaping me today. Actually, that's kind of normal. I think that happens a lot during breaks, right? You guys tell me. Okay, there we go. Stupid thing always drops the font down. All right, got that saved. Now let me do our next random for the pack order. Oops, let's do that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, uh, the pricing, I try to keep it as close to my cost as possible on these boxes. In fact, I, I want to look and see if there's another box available. Because uh, if there is, then I'll grab one. Okay, this is for CW134. CW134 uh, pack order. Pack random? Uh, I don't know. We'll say spot order. Uh, and before I random, I'll, I need to talk about the packs. The way I'm going to, the ordering I'm going to do for these is, um, let's see, what I will do, because I like to have them flipped upside down, is uh, I'm going to empty the box out so that they're upside down. And then I will pick the packs one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just leave them in the exact stacks they're in. And keep going like that, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then, man, there's just it's just covered in dust. It's covered in like, oh, you can't see it. Uh, here, let me hide the browser. You can't see any of what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm talking about is I have this box. I'm going to open it, and then I'm going to flip it over like this. Whoop. Uh, so that the bottom pack on the top left corner here, the bottom most pack deep wise is gonna be pack one, right? So it'll be flipped over like this and then I'm gonna go pack one, two, and then three, four, and keep going for these front two packs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, right? And then uh, to the back packs, the same order. So that'll be our pack order. Just wanna make that clear before I do the random. Uh, and then look at all this dust. Man, they didn't even pull the dust off it when they shipped this to me. That's pretty bad. Uh, I'm not going to wipe the dust off. I am going to wipe the dust off my hand real quick, though. Actually, yeah, let me wipe some dust off. Otherwise, I'm just going to get all dusty again. I'll, I'll have to... Do that to the next box ahead of time. We do have another box of this on the site right now. And it's the same deal. 36 packs. Uh, buy in and you get one pack. I made that about as cheap as I would be able to do. And still cover um, being able to do shipping. And actually I will probably. I might actually eat a few dollars on this. If, if everyone wants their packs shipped. But actually, no, that's not true because when you have the same person buy a whole bunch of packs, then it saves me money. So, yeah, I'm not going to lose any money on this for sure. Anyway, so uh, that's the order. Let's pull the randomizer back up and do the random. Real quick, like, thanks for joining in, you guys. I know Ben's doing a, a, an awesome bunch of breaks right now. So we'll, we'll try and try and make this a little quick. I'm not going to read through every single card in here. We're really looking for the Jeter. Um, but, uh, if you want afterwards and you want to, if you want to know what was in one of your packs, 
I can definitely show you pictures if you want a closer picture and see centering anything like that I can do that uh, but I, I don't want to spend time on every single card in the pack we're looking for some specific stuff out of these and you're gonna get the whole pack every anyway but uh, anyway let's see uh, let's grab the list yeah I love uh, when people save me money too gotta watch that Rona I don't know if I get Rona from the dust and actually I let everything in my house anything that enters my house sits for at least three days uh, the boxes the stuff ships to me in I actually open the box I have kind of a staging area in my house I open the box and uh, yes I'm a little bit of a germaphobe so I open the box and then I flip it over and get everything out of the box and then I don't touch any of that stuff because that stuff's been out of human hands for a few days right so it's pretty safe and then I take the box and I throw that in my spare room no one's in my spare room so I have like 800 cardboard boxes in my spare room and then eventually you know the, the box has been in there a few days and it's fine uh, and then I go wash my hands and all that but you guys wanted to know that let's do a random uh let's get the browser there you go we should probably put some names in there all right here's all the names yeah uh even i know the name i feel like uh even lasker has been in these breaks before i don't know why the, i have the whole last name in there interesting uh, whatever I'm not gonna mess with it right now so um, we're gonna randomize these the order that they come up is the order that match up to the packs that we open and uh, I'll show you a minute when the camera comes back up after we randomize uh, let's see here we go yes yeah, Sean Kurt bought one pack and then Sean came in and just wiped out half of them it was, it was kind of funny uh, and then also bought more high tech, of course. Okay, here's our order. And you're gonna hear me say the word again a lot because there's a lot of uh, packs, a lot of uh, packs that belong to Eben and Sean. Anyway, our code, random code is G C E B N N G C E B N N. Okay. Let's copy that, and I need to put that in my spreadsheet. And then I'll put it up so you guys can see it also. Control V. Cool. Uh, all right, let's do this. I'm going to split the list in half. So we're going to have. Whoops. Jeez, I can't type. Okay, here we go. Uh, so the first 18 will be on the left, just so we can fit them all. And then the next 18 I'll put on the right. There we go. Cool. So there's our order. We'll get cracking. Okay, let's open these up. I'll try and get as little dust as possible all over me and my card table here. My break table. I got a collection that I went and picked up yesterday of, uh, way to go up north anyway. We're in Michigan, and um, so my in laws live about an hour or so north of us, and so do some friends of ours and uh one of them that one of these friends that my wife grew up with her brother moved out of state a long time ago let me see if i can just dump them and oh that wasn't well planned so i just slide them anyway he moved out of state a long time ago and uh he had about a hundred thousand cards in a in his collection and he didn't take them with him with him so uh what ended up happening is the same thing that happens to everyone's collections that they leave at their parents house it sits at their parents house 
for years and then their parents finally get a smaller house and move and and then it has to get dumped off on someone else so as it turned out his sister a friend of ours had had all his stuff in her uh, basement well she's doing renovations and trying to get rid of stuff so she talked to him about it and he said he didn't want them anymore he said yeah you know if if someone if you know someone who wants them I take a few bucks for him so I gave him a hundred bucks for the whole thing that's all he wanted and uh, I already found a whole bunch of Jordans in it so anyway the way we're doing this is um, I have these graded card sleeves I know it's got a double right on it but part of it's on the back because um, I set the first like nine I set down on top of each other too quickly anyway I'll still be able to read it. So I numbered 36 of these so we can just throw the whole pack in there. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way down to 18. And then we'll do the, the last, uh, the two stacks in the back here, we'll do the same way. Okay? Good. All right, good luck, everyone. We're starting out with Sean C in pack one. I forgot how difficult these can be to open sometimes. Some of these old foil packs. Alright, there's pack one. And some of them will stick together too. These packs are, uh, what is this, 93? So. In 2013, these were 20 years old. So these are 27 year old packs of cards. So there's a uh, Kevin Stalker, Fred McGriff. I think if uh, if I recall, if we have the card we look we're looking for, it's going to be in a certain spot in all these packs. We'll go through the first pack just to make sure I know what I'm talking about. That is two cards. There we go. And we pulled a Jeter rookie out of one of these, uh, I think it was the last box or the second to last box that we did of this. And it was really nice. We pulled a really nice one. It's out, I think it's out at PSA for grading right now, in fact. I need to look up who we pulled that for and see uh, what the status of that is. Because I'm really curious if it comes back a, a 10 or it might have gone to BGS. Holy cow, these are sticking together. So this is uh, another reason why I want to make sure. I think it's just the front of the pack we have to worry about. Um, and all the... Let me make sure I went through all these, sorry. Uh, I think any of the rookies are going to be in the front of that pack. Whew, this is going to be brutal. This would be horrible if I had to do this for every pack. And I think I did last time. Um, but we won't, we won't do that. For every pack this time. The Cubs checklist with Sosa on it. And they come unstuck without any, uh, like I don't see any damage on the surface gloss of it. So that's good. It's just, you know, the, the gloss cards, they stick together pretty easily. So nothing uh, notable in that one. We had a nice Eckersley card. There's pack one. And I will, uh, I'll make these a little bit better for shipping. But for right now, they're just going to go into a box. Oh yeah, pack two is over here. I am going to spin these around so I can just grab them faster. Oh, that one is already that way. Okay, weird. Chat got quiet. Is chat still working? If chat's not working, someone send me a DM on, on uh, any platform. I'll watch my phone for it, but I, I suspect chat's working and people are just watching multiple streams and doing stuff. Um, so, yeah, it is going to be in the front here. So, if we have one, it's going to be in the front, I, I do believe. Jose Oliva, top prospect. 
There's a Jose Martinez diamond debut and uh, Grim Lloyd. And then the rest, like I said, these are all going to be base cards. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to go through all of these base cards. We're going to have one checklist, uh, one team checklist, and then a bunch of base, I believe is going to be the, the pattern here. If someone remembers, and I'm incorrect about that, actually, we, we can go through one or two more packs like this just to be 100% base. And then the rest will just, I'll have that confidence. Hey, Zach. Watching intently. Yeah, I would imagine because you bought a bunch of packs in this. Sorry, it's taken so long. We'll get through the first one. So those, yeah, these are all going to be base. They all stick together. Base, base, and these are base. I'm not going to unstick the two that are... I can just flip it over and see that they're both base. Anyway, there's pack two. Pack two was for uh, even Lasker. And they had the Jose Oliva. I always want to say Olivia when I see his name. Uh, yeah, and it says pack two on the front. Okay, good. I'm keeping them in order anyway in this box, but it helps to have the number written on them. Okay, pack three is going to Chris E. And uh, I don't think there, at this point, I don't think there's a need. Oh, that has a big dimple in it. Good thing that's not like a $100 card. I don't think there's a real big need to, um, to go through every card. There's one of the team series cards. From Montreal uh, because the, the cards we're looking for are going to be in the front there's Charles Johnson top prospect really good condition um, not really worth much though that was three going to pack four four is going to be back to uh, even Lasker You can actually see a little bit on the edge the coloring and you can tell where the the cards we're looking for are that is not a jeter so we got uh tony fernandez tyler green diamond debut and tyrone hill a little bit sticky tyrone hill top prospect and then uh, a bunch of base and then you're gonna have your checklist which is the Padres. All right, that was four. Let me pull my chat up. There we go. Uh, five on the left side. Here we go. I can't remember. I don't think there was anyone else really um, super notable coming out of these for the 93 upper deck. Another Padres checklist. And then the front cards in this one are, at least they're not in the middle. Can you imagine if we had to unstick everything all the way through the middle? Oh, this is different. So we do have in the middle, speaking of, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Man, the corner is bumped on that. I don't know what these are worth. I think they're worth a couple dollars. Ken Griffey Jr. Future Heroes. Corner's a little rough on the bottom right. Um, I'll put it in a penny sleeve anyway. So that was in the middle. And then uh, on your base... Delino de Shields, uh, inside the numbers. T 
Team Stars. Man, the corner on this, the whole pack, the corner is rough. The bottom left corner on this one when I'm holding it this way. This Ray Lankford has a rough corner. There's the Astros. The rough corner's on the top right on that one. It just depends on how the card's put in the pack, I guess. But There's your Ray Lankford. All right, well, the Griffey was okay, but it has a bump corner. That was pack five. Pack five was for Craig. Sorry about your dinged corners, Craig. At least it wasn't a dinged Griffey Jr. Or uh, Jeter, I mean. So this is pack six for even again. Doesn't look like there's a little tiny bit of corner issue on that one card. Otherwise, though, it looks okay. So nothing in the middle. Your checklist is the Phillies. And base cards, and it looks like you have a Dimitri Young top prospect. And that's base, yep. Okay, and then uh, Brink Gates Diamond Debuts. So that was six. And by the way, if anyone doesn't want their cards at all, uh, I mean, it's possible. Maybe I did it. <laughs> I don't think I did, though. Um, if anyone if anyone does not want their cards from this, if you want to donate them or whatever the case may be, let me know. I actually, it's kind of funny. Um, Mike, in one of our recent breaks picked up uh, a few cards out of high tech out of the break but he's in Canada so it's like 11 12 dollars to ship to Canada so I looked at the value of the cards and they comp out around eight or nine dollars so I, I wrote a message and I said hey Mike can I buy those for ten bucks it's cheaper for me to buy the cards than to ship them to him in Canada and he you know he was just gonna flip him or whatever anyway so it works out well for both of us because he got ten bucks back and didn't have to do any of the work of selling or listing or anything like that and I didn't have to ship anything and so all the money stayed in the hobby and none of it went to the the postal service so that was good there's Charles Johnson top prospect award winner Wongo And then uh, Dodgers checklist. Who is that? Daryl Strawberry? I was going to guess that, but I kind of second guessed myself. Uh, I don't think we had anything else in this pack. Yeah, it's all base. Okay, that was seven. I don't know if I said who seven was for. Seven was Sean, and eight is also Sean. Here we go, Sean. Is Jeter in here? I'm going to open this really carefully, just in case. I'll tell you guys one thing. I could never, like, re-glue a pack because uh, I did that for one of the guys in a break. I um, He didn't ask me to, but I thought it would be fun. His son gets excited about uh, Aaron Judge. So I, you know, I threw a pack in. I opened it. I opened a, an extra pack I had. And I put an Aaron Judge in there and then I resealed the pack. And it looked horrible. It was super obvious. Uh, dinged corner a little bit on the top left on that one too. Derek Wallace. That's always going to be a risk with some of these older cards, I guess. So there's Derek Wallace, top prospect. Uh, that's base. John Cummings, Diamond Debuts, Base, Base, and uh, anyway, so 
Man, when I was done, when I was done uh, resealing that pack, I was both, uh, I guess, relieved and appalled at how hard it was to try and do it and make it look okay. It looked horrible. Sorry, Sean, no Jeter in that one. That was eight. I think uh, that was for Tim, and I think he's on vacation still. So I'm excited to find out when he gets back and his son opens the pack. I, I made sure to tell him to let us, you know, what was going on because I don't want to just like throw it back in there and have someone be like, hey, how come this is resealed? Uh, but I made sure to tell him to let his son open it. He said he doesn't think his son's going to catch on. The, you know, catch on to the fact that it was resealed. This is pack nine for Eben again. Uh, so the top card's base. Base Paul Molitor for Toronto. Uh, and then Fred McGriff award winners. There's a couple of ding corner action on these two. A little bit on the bottom right on this Butch Husky top prospect. Which is maybe why some of the Jeters go for so much. And then we should have in here a... Uh, there, nope, that's not it. We have a checklist in here. I promise. It's somewhere. I don't need to look at every card. Anyway, that was... What did I say? Nine? Yeah, nine. Pack nine for even... Pack 10 for even. Pack 11 for even. These take a little while to do, but we'll get there. It is fun to, to go back in time. As dusty as the uh, outside of the box was, these inside packs are just pristine. And it's just nice, especially if you... If you were lucky enough to be collecting and to get your hands on these uh, when they came out. I think I stopped just short of these coming out. Um, because there's nostalgia involved, which is always nice. So, you know, beyond the value of it, just going through and looking at some of the old names. There's Michael Moore. Uh, claimed film director, filmmaker. I don't know if he's acclaimed. Diamond Debuts, Rod Bolton. Some people like Michael Moore, some don't. I'm trying to think if I've even watched any of his stuff. Bowling for Columbine, you heard so much about it, and I, know, I don't think I ever saw it. That's a cool photo. Steve Howe. Anyway, um, I guess I don't have to see what the checklist looks like. That was 10 for even. 11. 11. Which is also for even. Whose name I hope I'm saying right. That is not Derek Jeter. So we have base. Batting champions, award winners, Edgar Martinez. Uh, Brad Pennington is your top prospect in that one. That one does have a little surface rub there from where they stuck together. Mike Gallego is a name I remember. And then a bunch of base. Uh, that was 11. We got a few people still alive with me. So we have, uh, yep, that's right, four. This will be 12 here on the right. I'm waiting for us to pull the, the uh, Jeter so that that gif of Ben at the top is going to be more appropriate, the screaming. Or maybe he's screaming for us to, to get a Jeter. I'll have to ask him. The corners are not great on these. Makes me sad. Anyway, there's a couple of base. Another base there. 
And then uh, our inserts are Tavo Alvarez, Dummy Debuts, and Cliff Floyd. Cliff Floyd has a little, I don't know if you could fix the surface issue on that, and a little corner ding. Cliff Floyd top prospect. That was 12. 13. Uh, 12 was Sean. 13 is going back to even Lasker again. 13, 14, 15, and 16. I'll go to even. 13, 14, 15, 16. And then Daniels. Daniels W gets into it. Uh, yep, they're in the front here. There we go. So those are mostly base. That's not base. What is that? Tiny corner issue. Just a little bit on the left. Chipper Jones. This is the... Uh, Five years anniversary upper deck insert. A11 Shipper Jones. I don't know what that is worth. I didn't look that one up. Um, but I'll put it in the top loader. It's a nice little insert. So that's better than just a stack of base at least. It, it did, uh, with the black border, it really stood up because it's black on the front and black all over the back. So, uh, All right, so our diamond debut is Kevin Stalker and Mike Neal is the top prospect. Kevin Stalker and Mike Neal. That was 13. Fourteen pack fourteen for even. There's a song uh, I forget who it's by that it, it talks about stalkers. Um, it's basically sung from the perspective of a couple of stalkers, and the uh, it's just a kind of witty, humorous kind of song. Anyway, this one of the lines is this guy says, "They call it creeping." I say. Walking just extremely close behind. It's more funny when you hear it. It's not my delivery. It was horrible. Anyway, there's Bo Jackson base. And this is 14, pack 14. Diamond debuts with, uh, is that McGuire? Who's that? Picture on the front, Brent Gates. I was way off. Uh, Calvin Murray. is the top prospect in the front and then a base Ooh, almost dropped that whoever the junior felix uh these actually aren't sticking to together too bad yep. anyway that's 14. All right, 15, going to even, 15 and 16, these next two. Base. Then you have a uh, Troy Percival. Diamond debut. And the top prospect is Carlos Delgado. In decent condition. Then all your base. There's the checklist. Checklist is Mets this time. Bobby Bo. Bobby Bonilla. 
don't know why I didn't realize he played on the Mets. I always think of him as Pirates. Yeah, that was 15. And 16. That one I did drop. 16 for even. We lost someone. This isn't riveting. Exciting, exciting, riveting stuff. There's another Mets checklist. Bobby Bo. The uh, award winners, Cecil Fielder. And then this one actually, I'm going to top load, you know, ugh. The bottom corners and the bottom edge actually uh, have a bit of a hit, but Manny Ramirez, top prospect. Again, I don't know. I don't even remember honestly what the Jeter is worth out of this. I just know it's the one we're looking for mostly. Um, I don't remember what that's worth. But this is pack 16 for even and uh, it's curious if all the base was going to stick together. It is. It's all sticking together pretty well. There's 16. Ben pulled any sick hits from uh, from the breaks he's got going over there. This pack was turned around. 17. This one's going to Daniel's W, this pack. rough pack I saw a couple other transactions I'll have to double check oh we must have just had a mini fill or something uh, I will have to double check to make sure that we have the high tech here and that was the closest next one so I'll double check before we end the night and make sure that we don't have anything else that we have to break before we get offline uh, Matt Walbeck diamond debuts Todd Jones, top prospect. Tiny corner issue on that one, too. And then... Uh, there's a checklist in here somewhere. There it is. Checklist is... Oh. Generic checklist. Wow. Wow. Anticlimactic. That was 17 for Daniels W. Pack 17. You know what I might do with these is uh, what I might do is anyone who has just like a, a pack or two. Uh, or whatever it is, um, that would be, you know, uh, an obvious amount of shipping that I, I won't have to like weigh and measure and all that. Uh, I might just offer the chance to take a site credit for the shipping cost if you don't want these shipped. And then uh, you get a credit to get into another break. So if you didn't want the cards anyway, just turn it into, you know, a discount on something else. Darren Dalton. Award winners. And Mark Newfield is a top prospect. That's 18 for Craig. I tried to pull a Jeter, Craig, for you. I tried. I tried to pull it for all the packs, let's be honest. But None yet. We have 18 packs left. Okay, so now we're on to the right side. Back to Eben in uh, pack 19. Here we go. Let's try to put those back a little bit. I like to have this seam open to the left because uh, then I can just get right into it easier with the way I open packs. Whew. I can't believe I put another box on this uh, of this on the site that I'm going to have to open. So there's a Brewer's Checklist. Our top prospect is Derek Wallace. And then a Brink Gates. Uh, and then nothing else really standing out here. Looks like all 
can't really tell on the camera very much, but it looks like all, uh, as expected, all, all base cards after that. So that was 19 for even. Twenty, pack twenty is for Aaron. Yeah, that would be that wouldn't be fun. Uh, like I said, Sean, I have two more boxes. If you want to try and do a personal break, or I can do maybe set up another uh, pick your team. So you'd have a, a if I did a pick your team, then you'd have. Not necessarily a guarantee if someone else grabbed it first, but at least a very good uh, option of getting the Yankees. Okay, so those are all base. This is pack 20 for Aaron. So Ray McDavid is the top prospect in that one. And Edgar Martinez award winners. Yeah, I hear you, Sean. That's, I mean, it's, Quite a bit to spend and not get the Yankees if that's all you really want, right? Okay, that was 20. 21 is Sean. Actually, I almost wish they would put the card we're looking for in the middle because then I don't have to be nervous about how I'm opening these. Because, like, this card is full like centimeter off the other one at least the top cards can be a base but there's Dimitri Young top prospects and Tyler Green diamond debuts and what is this something different there there's another uh, Ken Griffey Jr. future heroes Again, I don't think it's a very valuable insert, but I'll drop it in a penny sleeve anyway. Being in the middle, it's pretty good condition, at least. Yeah, I'd, I mean, I wouldn't buy up everything just to see that break tonight, Sean. They'll, they'll fill. And I have the other Mosaic draft coming tomorrow, so... Oh, I'm not break. I'm, I don't think I'm breaking that tomorrow, but maybe Wednesday we'll, we'll probably be breaking a couple things Wednesday. So I'm going to be trying real hard to get some stuff full for Wednesday. Uh, high tech should be a no-brainer. That should be easily filled for Wednesday. So we can do it. All right, that was 21. 21 was, uh, Sean, that was your pack. I forgot already. Uh, 22 is over here. 22 is going to be even, 22 and 23, and then back to Sean for two more. Oh, here we go. Eddie Murray, then and now, that's a nice looking card. And it's actually in really good condition, too, so I don't see any corner issues. It just got lucky placement in that pack, I guess. Eddie Murray, then and now. TN14, it looks like. It's a pretty cool-looking card. I like that. That's a... No brainer for an Eddie Murray collector. If it was Nolan Ryan, I would want it. Let's put it that way. Okay, and then we have another Fred McGriff. And Brad Pennington is the top prospect. And then our base top card. Yeah, nothing else standing out. You, so you can kind of see some of those inserts like, like this one that stand out. You could see a little bit. Just look different. So that's good. Congrats on that one. That's a nice card to have. Even. Pack 22. 
pack 23. They make these really hard to get into. Okay, so got our base card. Our top prospect is Tyrone Hill. And Jose Martinez with a little bit of corner issue. And I don't see anything really standing out. Probably a checklist right around here. There we go. Morris. Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell when he played for the Reds. Uh, that is Hal Morris. Reds checklist. All right, that was 23. 23 for, was for even. 24 and 25 for Sean. Coming up here. I would, uh, I would break tomorrow. Whatever we have full, but the only issue is... Uh, I promised my wife a date night for tomorrow. Okay, I don't have to worry about that stuff that just popped up. I'll ignore that. So, I don't want to go back on that. I don't want to promise that to her and then not do it. It's a good way to get your wife salty about break nights. Diamond debuts Troy per Percival. Jose Oliva. Top prospect. And then award winners Eric Karos. And I can tell if that's something in there. Yeah, it is. So we have a future heroes. Juan Gonzalez. Not perfect, but pretty close. I had a, uh, a radio station and I had lots of indie bands where I would uh, reach out to, to a bunch of them and I had probably a hundred different indie band teasers that teased the radio station for me with a little, a little clip that they sent me. So in between tracks or whatever I would play that little clip. So what made me think of that is a picture of Ben. So that was 20, hold on. Okay, so I messed that up. I have to go back. This was not pack 24. I pulled it from the left. You can see the stacks are very uneven. This is actually pack 25. My apologies. I mean, they both go to Sean. But I just want to be real clear about what I did there. And then pack 24 would have been on the right, this pack. And then 25, and then we'll do 26 next. So here's here's 24, truly, Sean. Uh, yeah, I might be able to break early tomorrow. The uh, my eight o'clock time is like kind of a just have a bit of a standard, but I have a feeling people would want to break early, so. I might be able to do that. I'll put it up in Discord. I don't want to promise it right now because there's a bunch of other people in the break, I think. I don't know. I have to look. It might just be you. <laughs> it might be mostly you. Um, so you may have the ruling vote on that anyway. But yeah, we might break tomorrow. We might be able to do that. I'll just make sure it's full. If it's full by the time I get through the rest of these packs, I'll break tonight. Um, but I don't want you to just buy it out for that reason. If it's not, I'll push and try and get it full for tomorrow. 
Butch Husky, top prospect, and another Juan Gonzalez award winners for you. So that was pack 24. We did pack 25 out of turn. They both go to Sean, so at least it helps that they're going to the same person. So now we're back to even, even numbers on the right, 26. So 26 is back to uh, Daniel's W again. Daniel's taking another shot at Jeter. I, I get every pack I open, I get a little excited because I see the gold there. And then I realize every pack has one in it, so I don't know why I'm getting excited about it. Anyway, this one is Charles Johnson. And then the, uh, the base card. Darren Dalton Award Winners. And that's probably our... Yeah, there it is. Florida Marlins Checklist. All right, that was 26 for, for uh, Daniels W. Yeah, that would not be good either. You don't want to have the ability to trade, especially if it's if you're trying to trade for your Yankees and then you're just not able to be there for it. Um, so we'll see. We can. I'm sure we can work it out to do it early tomorrow. I'll put it in Discord. I'm sure it shouldn't be a big issue for people, but I don't know how early is early. Um, maybe throw it in Discord and see what people think. Because, uh, you know, specify what early means, at least to be available for the random. Uh, another option is if I do a random ahead of time, and that gives you about a day to um, do trades, maybe. Kevin Stalker, Tyler Green. And who's behind Tyler Green? Not Jeter. Carlos Delgado. It's the top prospect. And then I don't see anything amazing in here except maybe a checklist here. For the Royals. So that was 27 for Chris E. Now we got another pack for Craig. 28. So yeah, if, if it's uh, if you throw it on Discord, just kind of what time you think you'd be available for um, for trades, or like I said, if I'm not breaking tomorrow, but I can fill it in time, we can get it set up and then have trades happen. They don't have to happen on the live stream. The only thing about the trades is just that you know everyone involved in the trade is aware and. It's in an environment where everyone has an opportunity to respond. So we can we can facilitate one way or another. We'll make it work. I just don't want you to buy the whole buy half the half the break just to try and get the Yankees and then get screwed on that. Mark Newfield and uh, Cecil, Cecil Field are award winners. And there's nothing really standing out in this pack either. No, uh, no special inserts that I'm seeing. Mets checklist on that one. I only call it the checklist. I don't think they're worth anything really compared to anything else, but uh, they're nice to look at. I like the artwork on them. That was 28 for Craig. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. We have seven left. Eight, eight left, including this one. Okay, this one has two top prospects in it. Start with uh, Matt Walbeck. Ray McDavid, top prospect. Mark Newfield, magnet, yep. And uh, Mike, Mike Neal. It's actually a good looking, decent condition, mostly. 
Uh, and then I think it's just checklist. Whew. Beautiful card. I like that Tiger's checklist. Travis Fryman. So the collection I, I uh, just picked up, my friend's brother, he, he, uh, there's these plastic, oh, I don't have it. There's these plastic top loaders that are, um, that I loved when they came out. I hate them now. Here, I'll show you. These plastic top loaders that you would, I mean, they, these were great when they first came out because you could, you didn't have to screw them down. They were uh, not plastic, not top loaders, but they weren't top loaders. You didn't have to screw them down. You just pop it open with your thumbnail and then put your card in and snap it together. And then they just stay together forever. Anyway, he has so many Travis Fryman cards in these. Cracks me up. Okay. Sorry, little side story. All right, that was thir uh, 29, 29. There aren't, is no 39. No pack 39. There's 29 for Sean and 30 for Sean right here. No, not Jeter, but not horrible, I guess. There's base card. Here's a Manny Ramirez. Little ding on the corner on the bottom right. Tiny bit. Man, Derek Jeter just does not want to come out tonight. He's in here somewhere. There's a not Mark McGuire checklist. And what's going on in the middle? What is that? We have another insert in the middle here. There it is. Well, that is Mark McGuire. Future Heroes Mark McGuire. It's a nice card. I like these uh, Future Heroes cards. Okay, that was 30, 31, 74, 30. That was 30 for Sean. That Mark McGuire is at least kind of nice, Sean. I don't know if you care at all about that card. Something snuck in there. A little speck of debris must be on the mat. Okay. 31. Pack 31's Kurt. Kurt's only pack in the break. Looks like it has an extra insert or something. It does. Okay, so the top prospect is Todd Jones. Then there's a Rondell White. And another then and now. Donnie Baseball. I don't think we got any then and now cards out of the last time we did a break like this, actually. Or I just don't remember them. That's a really nice uh, Donnie Baseball. I like the, uh, I just like these then and now in general. I don't know if you can see kind of holographic reflection of it. 3D. These are pretty awesome. That's Kurt's card. So we've got two of those now. Uh, and then is there anything else crazy in here? I don't see it. There's your checklist. Twins checklist. 
All right, that was 31 for Kurt. I just did a bunch of shipping today and emptied out my shipping box, and now it's completely full again. 32. It's going to be bad next shipping day. There's going to be so many cards in here. I got to get my donations under in order, too. I have all this stuff to donate. There's little kids out there that probably could enjoy these cards, and they're just sitting on my desk. I need to get them donated. Someone harassed me sometime in the next week and asked me if there's kids crying because I haven't donated their cards yet. That'll do it. That'll get me moving. Calvin Murray, top prospect. Uh, Tavo Alvarez. And then here's another... Uh, can't pick it up. Um, Upper Deck 5th Anniversary. It's so funny to think of these and think of that being the 5th Anniversary. Followed by a San Diego checklist. It's in pretty good condition. Ivan Rodriguez. I mean, I don't know if I'd give this a 10, but... It's well, that, especially I see some white on the top corner, but... Still decent. For being 27 years old? 27 years old. Uh, let's see, your San Diego checklist. And... I don't really see anything else creeping in there. All right, that was 32 for even. Thirty-three. After this, Sean, I'll, I'll go look at where we are with high tech, and uh, maybe we'll do a mini of that next because I think we just had a mini fill. So maybe we'll do a, a mini of that, get it started tonight, and see if we can get it filled for, by tomorrow. Then give us a lot of time for any trades if we want to do that. Uh, and I can do, I can pop on for a few minutes tomorrow and do a random on the live stream just to, you know, do it live. Uh, there's our top prospect. There's the other top prospect. There's the third top prospect. Pete Janicki. This is uh, for even, this is pack 33. Almost bought them. Well, give it, give it time. Well, I, I mean, if you want, you could buy it right now, but I'll break them. But uh, I feel really horrible if the one other person watching right now doesn't have the Yankees to trade you. So this is one of those situations where these two got stuck together at the factory and you get an extra card. I've seen that happen in, uh, occasionally in newer product even. Not a lot, but it happens. Base, 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 base. And our checklist is White Sox. All right, that was 33 for even. Right, even, yes. Yep. Uh, next up is 34 for even. Three packs left. And you're right, Sean, if you if you did want to just do a, a personal break, you could do a box cheaper. Because I factor in shipping per spot and some things like that, and PayPal fees per spot. Um, so when someone buys 10 spots at a time, I actually save a little bit of money off of what I factored in for fees and stuff. Uh, but I have to do it that way to guarantee I don't lose money. There's Rob Bolton, Rod Bolton. But um, so it'll be it would be cheaper if you did a personal break than buying you know three quarters of a, a break. Cliff Floyd base card and I don't think there's anything crazy in here except maybe a checklist, which is going to be Darren Dalton Phillies checklist. All right, that was 34, two left. I think, did we pull a Jeter one of the last two or three packs last time? 
or one of the times. I think we pulled a couple of them. 35 is for Aaron. I'm kind of afraid to pull a Jeter anyway out of this because we've had so many dinged corners out of this box that if we pull a Jeter, is it really going to be gradable would be my fear, you know? All right, there's base. Diamond debut, Rondell White. And Pete Janicki is the top prospect out of that one. I kind of want to get a, a box of uh, SP and search for that Jeter. There's our Yankees checklist. So that was 35 for Aaron. And the last, last and final pack. Yeah, it's almost better to not, now I'm thinking about it, Sean, it's better to not close that breakout right now. Because if I were to break that right now, no one would be here to do any trades. Since nobody's on right now. Like, we'd have to hunt people down for the trades. Which is possible, but... Uh, Pirates Checklist. This pack is for... This is your pack, Sean. Last pack. Last pack mojo. I don't know what this card is. I see one of these. It's another... Uh, Another of the inserts that's not in every pack. Not this one. This is John Cummings Diamond Debuts. I have no idea yet who the top prospect is. Well, now I do. Michael Moore. He's got a little surface damage on his chin. And then this guy. Remember this guy? He was the best thing since sliced bread if you talk to anyone in 1990s. In the early 90s. Everyone was all about David Justice. I do remember that when I was collecting. Like, you couldn't get your hands on a David Justice card fast enough in 1990. No Jeters, even, but you got a couple of decent cards, uh, but no Jeters, unfortunately. And that was the last pack there, 36 for Sean. So, uh,. I did mention before, I'll mention it one more time too. Uh, if you do not like your, the cards you got in a pack, let's say you have two packs and you don't like any of them, uh, let me know and we'll work something out. If I don't have to ship them, I'll get you a credit or something so that the money I would spend on shipping can go towards you getting into another spot or something like that. And it saves me time too. Saves me time, saves you money. Uh, everybody wins except for the post office. And... The look on their face when I bring in 50, 60 packages every two days, uh, they maybe will win also. So who knows? Um, or if you have 15 packs and you don't like 13 of them, let me know. And we'll shave a few bucks off what I would charge, what I would be paying for shipping. And I'll get that to you as a credit. So we'll figure that out. Oh. My keyboard's asleep again. Really? Ugh. Yep, no jeters. Um, let me see. That's 36. 32. 32. This is you, even. 32. You had this guy, Ivan Rodriguez. What else? Uh, 31 was Kurt. 30 was Sean. I'm just taking a quick peek for even to see if there was anything that he might have missed. 22. Who is 22? 22. 22. This is yours. 
22, you had Brad Pennington, and you had this guy, Eddie Murray. I know you can't hear me even. I'm just kind of talking to myself right now. I'm just going back through since even didn't get a chance to see all of it. There's 16. Pack 16. You had Manny Ramirez. I'll check my... I'm going to check my... Uh, Check everything really and see if see if anything else was close. Uh, this is also you, even thirteen. I'm sure you can go back and watch it too. But again, Mike Neal, and they had this Chipper Jones. Even's like, what is he doing? I think that was really the only stuff worth showing. Okay. All right, that's it for tonight. Uh, I'm going to get these hits from the Mosaic break into, well, get some photos and get them into Discord, and we'll get that draft going. Uh, Sean, I will wrap up the mini that I have uh, apparently finished, and I think all paid for now in, um, in Discord, and we'll get a mini going for... Uh, high tech to get those spots out of the way as well and get that wrapped up and then we will have enough time for some trades we'll we'll give it like a, a day for some trades all right thanks everyone i will see you back over in uh either in ben's stream or on discord or uh or tomorrow